Hey, brothers and sisters, God bless you. Um, I know it's been a little while since uh, I did a video or anything on uh, on YouTube or any social media. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update of what I've been doing and just talk about a few things. Um, but first of all, you know, it's so hypocritical and strange, isn't it, that we are living in this time where the world um, is telling us to uh, to be accept to be um, to accept pretty much anything, and to not do that is uh, is that that a person won't be loving people unless they're doing accepting anything whether it's drag homosexuality sodomy uh anything like this um all these different religions and things like that and um it's it's not that to be hateful or angry towards these things but just in letting people know that there is only one way to salvation. There is only one way to true happiness. There is only one way to the Father. There is only one way to the kingdom. And that is through our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus Christ. And preaching Christ and telling people that is going to be looked at as being hateful. And isn't that funny? It's not really funny, actually. That's a wrong word to use. But you know what I'm saying? That we're living in this age where everything is accepted, except that. Except Christ. This is the times that the Lord spoke about, brothers and sisters, in the book of Daniel, that so many prophecies in the word of God, the word of God is everything, brothers and sisters. And it says in Daniel that they will fling truth to the ground, that there's this short season where the, the and where evil, um, even the son of perdition, that um that that evil will have a have a, a short kingdom a short stint where it is allowed to do, it is allowed to prosper and do what it wants to do for a short little while. But um, in that, brothers and sisters, knowing, you know, that this is being um, allowed by God as judgment, but also, um, it also says that we, that the children of God, the true children of God will do mighty exploits you know so we also have power over all the strength of the enemy enemy so our battle the battle that a person that a child of god puts up against the the forces of darkness that are surrounding humanity and coming against them um their salvation their outcome depends on that depends on them and um and their their fight their battle um that they have against the enemy because that's what it says that the true children of god will do in the end days and so we are living in these times now brothers and sisters where there's going to be and and sister regina um you know i have a couple things i wanted to say to you i've been wanting to to do a video and talk to you um, but the, the couple videos that you put out today were so awesome, so true. And um, just the Lord, I felt the Lord put into my spirit a couple weeks ago saying that you're, you're going to have um, that the Lord is going to use you. He's going to have uh, he's going to you're going to do a ministry, a mighty ministry. And I know the, the Lord is the Holy Spirit is talking to you because what you have said is what exactly that I felt today. and um, sister lena as well and 
Um, so glory to God. Um, so this is what is happening, brothers and sisters. They're flinging truth to the ground. And um, so a little update on um, what I've been doing, brothers and sisters. I got a new job. Um, glory to God, brothers and sisters. I just want to let people know that we are entering, we, we are in, um, it, we are either in or about to enter. It's, it's one of the two. I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure yet. I, I take it into prayer, um, tomorrow. But it's either we are in right now, is which is what I think, or we're about this very soon, very shortly, um, entering into a Jubilee year. And in the Jubilee, um, I'm pretty sure I think that it, that we're already in it. Um, but in the Jubilee, things are restored. Brothers and sisters, even though that these evil things are going on in the world, the true children of God are also inheriting. They're inheriting promises. They're inheriting the things that the Lord, many of the things that are the promises in the word of the Lord for his people, they're already inheriting those things right now. And it's manifesting in, in the physical realm. Obviously, it will do that. But... um. Like right now, we're in, in the process, we're inheriting the land in the spirit. But eventually, after the tribulation and the judgment happens, we will literally inherit the land. Okay. Um, but um, so I I got a new job. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Um, where I'm making um, you know, a significant amount like what i was making uh per week um you know was was very um was nothing i'm talking about times over um what i'm making now at this new job is much more than what i was made or more than i ever had in a long very long time and um and so you know, this is part of, um, you know, God's blessings and his promises in his people's lives and, and um, uh, the word of the Lord and the promises of the Lord being fulfilled in the children of God's lives. And in the Jubilee year, things are restored back to the children of God. Um, so I'm in this new job and and but I do have to um, it does cause me to travel and I have to work long hours, um, some days, um, working, you know, some days, 12 hours, maybe even a little more. Um, but, um, I'm actually able to, uh, have a, have a, make a living out of this. And, um, it's, it's all glory to God and thanks be to God. So, um, I, I've been traveling throughout the state for work, brothers and sisters. So um, I'm, I am going to be um, buying, uh, Lord willing, and thanks be to God, um, a, a new phone where I'm going to be able to do videos and um, live streams and stuff like that mobily from my phone. And, um, and so... Yeah, I'll be doing that. But right now, brothers and sisters, where everything is at is um, the people, the the abomination of desolation has been manifested. It has been set up. People have been handed over. All of the judgments that have been pronounced upon the people have happened to them inside of their temples and in the spirit. And a lot of people don't see that, brothers and sisters. There, there, is, there is a reason why this is called in, in the word of the Lord, the age of deception. And there's no greater time. There's no other time in the whole history of humanity that will ever be like this. And it's because people cannot see the truth and the reality of what the truth of the matter really is. Um, and 
one of those problems, one of those things that I'm talking about, I'll give you for an instance, is let's say alien disclosure, okay? Um, people, whenever we've heard about the alien disclosure um, in the past years, many people have heard about, some people may have not, don't care, don't even worry, don't even know about it. But for a lot of people in the Christian truth or community, um, they've heard on or have even studied, you know, looked into alien disclosure. And when we knew when when we were told and when we thought that these things would happen years ago, we thought that when it happened, that it would look a certain way. So we have this um, preconceived perception of what alien disclosure is going to look like in the end days. And um, and so what what a lot of people don't realize brothers and sisters is that the alien disclosure has happened already and yes it may like it could and possibly will manifest at an even greater level but the the disclosure itself has already happened it has already taken place and a lot of people don't see it. They, it didn't happen the way that they think. So they're expecting something more. And in, it's like this with, um, with most people with the word of God. Okay. They, um, they think that when they read the prophecies, when they read the scriptures, and when, we, when we're talking about um, things of the word of God, um, you know, the gospel is very clear cut and people are convicted when they hear it and the Lord reveals to them right and wrong. But as far as prophecies and other things in the word of God, um, when they happen, when they manifest and that when they're fulfilled, people don't think that they were going to look like the way that they do. OK, it's like when Jesus said when, when the disciples were saying, but what about Elijah? He has to come first. Right. And Jesus said he already came and you guys didn't it, they didn't even know you people didn't even know that it was him and they did whatever they wanted to him. Brothers and sisters, that is the truth of the word of the Lord. These things are being fulfilled and people don't even know it. They don't even realize it. But the Lord has sent, and, and it's been that way with prophets, with God's servants, brothers and sisters, when they're saying, when they're sent in the world with a message, it is hardly ever received. It is hardly ever received. And if it is, they go back on it later on. The people who accept it go back on it. And the enemy comes behind that and steals what has been planted in their heart because they don't protect themselves because their people of God are not on their guard. They don't know the enemy. And so they, they leave themselves open to being come and, and things being taken out of their heart and out of the good seeds that have been planted in them. The enemy comes behind the people of God who are planting these, who the Lord is using to plant these seeds. And the enemy comes and steals those things because these people, these believers either have hatred, anger, lot they it's proved through their actions and their word that they love lies they don't respond to the convictions that the lord and so all these things open up an access way for the lord or um um for the enemy to come in and steal the seeds that are being planted and the lord allows these things to happen because we're in a refining we're, we're in a revealing process brothers and sisters that's why it's called the book of revelation revelation is being fulfilled right now it's this is a revealing process of who the true children of god are this is a revealing process of who that's why it's called the revelation the revealing of christ the revealing of christ so it is this is revealing who are the true children, who are the overcomers, who are those that are going to battle against their feelings and their emotions, who is going to stick on the narrow path and stay on the narrow path and not let the enemy, not let the gates of hell come up against them, but battle against them and not 
not only battling with offensive with the sword of the spirit, but battling the the own things in their own mind, in their own heart, and overcoming with love, which is the most important thing to do, is to overcome all of your oppressor, all of your attacks with the love of Christ, with the light of Christ, with the glory of Christ. That is what the Father desires, desires each of his children to do. And all those that are his true children will have done that. That will be their testimony. That is what overcoming is. Um, I heard a, a, a person on YouTube who is a believer has a very big YouTube channel. And she was talking about people that do evil. And one of the person in the live stream chat said, well, um, you know, we have to love our enemy. And she said, no, no, no. I don't love, you know, um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to love people like that. And so what the reason I'm saying that, brothers and sisters, is what is in people is coming out and it is being revealed because that is going to determine what is going to happen to them during the as the tribulation goes on and goes into the great tribulation. But the abomination of desolation has been made manifest brothers and sisters it is in full operation and it has been revealed and the lord has sent his true servants his servants the prophets the lord the servants of the lord to come in to bring a true message from him into the world and it is most widely um rejected but it is written that that would happen, but never, but even so, even with that being happened, it is still coming into the, it is still in the world. And this is going to be a testimony against all people who do reject it because the Lord is going to convict the people's hearts if it is true. But see that because they're not humble, they reject it. They don't take these things to the Lord because they don't truly love the truth. Brothers and sisters, Remember, it says in the book of Daniel, the end thereof shall be with a flood. The end thereof shall be with a flood. And what just happened? And, and brothers and sisters, you can, a lot of people can say, oh, well, lots of floods have happened. Um, and, you know, it's um, also not a coincidence brothers and sisters but a sign um it says 42 minutes ago and remember time times and half a time remember the 42 month reign of the beast remember that the 42 month period in the book of revelation where many of these evils have said that people don't understand the fullness um of what is truly happening. Remember, brothers and sisters, there hasn't been a, the culmination of all these prophecies, all of these things being fulfilled right now. And this is a sign. This thing that happened in Kentucky, this flood is a sign of these things happening. And I'm telling people that, that this is the end. Brothers and sisters, uh, um, I, I want to show, I want to, I want to read this. Um, in the book of Daniel chapter nine. Okay. And it says, know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and build Jerusalem. Okay. And unto the Messiah, the prince shall be seven weeks, three score and two weeks. The street shall be built again, the wall, even in troublous times. Now, brothers and sisters, a lot of people who are brothers and sisters, but who are not fully led by the spirit of truth. There's a lot of people with bit, way huge YouTube channels that says and they say um, that, you know, these prophecies have already been fulfilled. And they don't understand 
that the word of God is fulfilled multiple times. And brothers and sisters, those who are truly the children of God, they accept the truth. When they hear the truth, it resonates with them. They accept it. And so it, it it's it's not about selling. Um, I, I'm not trying to sell somebody my truth, but never the but e- even so. This is going, this is a testimony. Also, these warnings, these messages are also a testimony against people that they did not love the truth. Okay. And a lot of people say that this thing about Messiah and all this thing has already been fulfilled. And it has been, there has been a fulfillment of this, brothers and sisters. But the word of the Lord is alive. It is breathing. It is active. And it is not only fulfilled one time. I will say right off the bat, Stephen Benoon, he says that, oh, this has already been fulfilled. This has already been fulfilled. And some of the things he's saying is true. But not, it's not all, this has not all been fulfilled. And it and it is fulfilled more than once, brothers and sisters. And that is as per the word of the Lord talks about this. That it's not just fulfilled one time and then it's a history book. That's called a history book. The word of God is not a history book. Okay. But it says, after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off but not for himself and the people of the prince that shall come shall shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and the end thereof shall be with a flood. That's what this sign is. 42 minutes ago, 42 months, right? The end thereof shall be with a flood and unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. Brothers and sisters, if you know what is happening with um ukraine and russia and you know the prophecies in the book of daniel you know that the king of the south and the king of the north that they're going to go back and forth that it it is going to be a back and forth tug of war back and when you read in the book of daniel how and how long it goes back and forth that is what is going to happen it is going to be back and forth but that is a sign of the things to come that the kingdom of christ that christ has already come inside of the children of god people are expecting this huge second coming of the lord and yes that is going to happen but they're missing the coming that has already happened in the children of god that he is alive in them that there's been a temple prepared for him to dwell in glory be to god not because of them not because they're holier or better than anybody else but for his name's sake because his word decrees and declare these things But people are so caught up. They're caught up in their own perception. They're not humble. They only go after what they think and what their feelings tell them. They glorify and worship their feelings above seeking the truth and wanting the truth. So um, it says, and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And the overspreading of abominations, brothers and sisters, you know why this drag thing, this sodomy thing, homosexuality, abortion, all of all these things are overspread. These are abominations unto the Lord and why they are manifesting and being practiced more widely and all over the place on a scale never seen before is because what is abominable, that dark matter, that dark energy, that dark spirit, which is death. It's only just void. It's just a, a, Uh, It's dark matter, it's dark energy, and this darkness has been made manifest in people's temples. Their temple is desolate, and the spirit of abomination is now residing in them, which is making more evils than manifest, more and more and more evils. They want to keep on doing more evil, and they're filling up the whole earth with evil until it goes up and reaches the heavens, and it's going to move our Lord. It's going to move the Lord God Almighty into the day of the Lord, and that is going to be a great day for the children of God and a terrible day for the lukewarm 
for those who choose to be sinners, for those who love lies and love evil over Christ. Because without Christ, without the truth of Christ and and the spirit of Christ made manifest in all of humanity, children will still be oppressed. They will be murdered, murdered, and the weakest among us will continue to suffer. And that is not acceptable any longer. And the Lord is going to come and exact vengeance and punishment upon those who want to continue to live that way and do those things. Because they, because he, this overspreading of abomination shall make it desolate. Even until the consummation that de- that determined shall be poured upon the, de- the desolate. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to show you something. It says 70 weeks are deterrent, you know, um, since the, the 70 years, the 70 weeks and the weeks of years prophecy, um, you know, and it's been 74 years, I think, since um, Israel went back and inherit, and that is a sign, whether or not they're the true people or not, that, that's, that's irrelevant, brothers and sisters, this, it, or this is, um, this it the it, it is a sign and in a way those are the it, it's I'll explain that in another video. But brothers and sisters, seventy years it can be seventy nine years and seventy nine and a half years, or it could be exactly seventy years. See, that's the thing about prophecy that people don't understand. They think as soon as it hits seventy, that then the prophecy has to be fulfilled. No, it can go. It can still be seventy nine years 79 and a half for the prophet see because they don't understand hebrew they don't understand these things but it says 70 weeks are uh, are determined upon thy people and remember this is talking about believers this is talking about children of god so listen to this 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city that's the sit that's the ch- the children who are that that spirit of Jerusalem is in them, the city of peace. Those that are translated into the city, the kingdom of peace. Okay, that's not just people who are actually residing in the physical land of Jerusalem. But it says 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish transgression right to make an end of sins that's so that's the children of god they are being purged and refined they're turning away from sin right to make reconciliation for iniquity why is that i thought the lord was our um was our reconciliation for iniquity yes that's true brothers and sisters that is true but you have to remember if you've known, if you've sinned in your life and you knew about the body and blood of Jesus Christ, and that is atonement for sin, remember what it says in Hebrews, that you cannot willingly trample on the body and blood of Christ. So if you do that, there is no atonement for sins. So therefore, there's a reconciliation for iniquity, a time where judgment For the things that people have done is going to manifest in their life. It's going to manifest in their temple and in their life. Okay. And people have not understood when I've said that. And they've called me all sorts of these names and and things because they don't understand. And brothers and sisters, anybody can pick up the Bible and become a preacher these days. And you could read the word. But it's it's a different thing to know the word of God, to be called upon it, to be called, to be led by the spirit of truth, and to know how the things in the Bible work together simultaneously and not to just pick and choose certain things and make up your own doctrine about it and preach it because people love it. That's not knowing the word of God. Okay. But it says to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness. The children of God are being purged and refined. They are given a new, they have already been given a new heart. They're in this trans heart transplant period where we're receiving a new heart and a new spirit is coming into us to fear the Lord, to serve him with one, with all of our being. 
And that is bringing in everlasting righteousness to seal up vision and prophecy, which is happening right now, and to anoint the most holy. And many of the children of God have been anointed and more are being anointed. They're being brought in. Glory be unto God. So I wanted to share this with you, brothers and sisters. 42 month reign. The end thereof shall be with a flood. The abomination of desolation is already set up in people's temples. Many people do not see or understand. They're waiting for an actual building to be built. And, and the son of perdition to walk in there and say that he is God and maybe that will happen, but they're missing the most important part of this because they cannot see. But this is a message. Uh, um, this is a message led by the Holy Spirit. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen.